try to understand what exactly is a cartridge uh, in Salesforce Commerce Cloud. It's it's kind of an extension to the existing platform or the or to the existing Salesforce Commerce Cloud implementation that you have, right? Uh, am I correct? Yes. Uh, you want to add something into it? No, that's completely correct. All right. So uh, when I say extension, all what it does is it either provides an additional functionality uh, with the help of which you can do something more or it uh, typically it does that only uh, or it provides you uh, like a way to connect or integrate with any other application uh, or sometimes a cartridge is used as a pre-built module that you do not want to put your effort into uh, building from the scratch. So there are different types of cartridges that are available which you can use with the uh, with the Salesforce Commerce Cloud. Uh, so let's uh, talk about the different types of cartridges that are available. So the number one is custom cartridges. Uh, these are like cartridges which you create for the individual specific needs of your uh, Salesforce Commerce Cloud instance. For specifically for a brand. Specifically for a brand, you uh, you can create these custom cartridges. If you want to relate it with uh, app exchange, uh, no, not app exchange applications, but some managed packages or unmanaged packages of uh, Salesforce, if you are aware about it, it's kind of an unmanaged package that you uh, create for Salesforce Commerce Cloud. Because the code is visible. Uh, that's why it's unmanaged, right? Uh, then comes link cartridges. Link cartridges are basically uh, pre-built features, pre-built tools that help you do something on the Salesforce Commerce Cloud, which is by default not available on top of it. So that's what a link cartridge is. We have one. Yeah. Arch Merchant tool. Yes. So uh, we have a uh, uh, cartridge listed on App Exchange, which basically provides a marketplace for the users uh, and uh, sellers can onboard to the Which allows store. you to convert your Salesforce Commerce Cloud into Amazon where you'll be able to add multiple vendors on top of it and you'll be able to give them the functionality to add their own uh, products uh, on top of it, create their own product listings on top of it. And uh, it is going to become a platform for other uh, people to sell their uh, merchandise, products or services uh, on your e-commerce website. So that's what it does, right? Yeah. And everything is on approval basis. So if you uh, approve, so you, you control everything. You control that they everything. Do. So that's how it goes. Uh, then comes a plugin cartridge. I mean, again, I, anything extra that you want to add on top of uh, the Salesforce Commerce Cloud can be done through plugin cartridges. Typically used for integrations, I guess. Uh, no. So for example, uh, there is a difference between link cartridge and plugin cartridge. Link cartridge would be an integration. So for example, I am integrating PayPal. So PayPal's link cartridge would be there. And if I talk about the plugin cartridges, for example, plugin wishlist, plugin uh, compare. So the product comparison and wishlist functionalities, they're not uh, like calling a third party, uh, uh, integrating with a third party application. They're just extending the functionality of Commerce Cloud or the SFRA. So those are plugin integrations. And the then last base cartridge. Yeah. And what that is? So in the base cartridge, we have our SFRA cartridge that is called the App Storefront Base. And that's the whole SFRA that we talked about, the whole site that Salesforce provides on top of which you can build. Uh, without that, Salesforce uh, Commerce Cloud doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, you can mm -hmm. do implementations uh, if you want to build something from scratch also without but the SFRA. Who would want to build something from yeah, the scratch I mean, when they're uh, already SFRA SFRA results in a very Cloud. quicker implementation, so definitely. I mean, I mean, see, who would want to do things from scratch when the platform al is allowing you to just skip 70% of mm -hmm. the part of it? And that's why I think people are paying for it, no? Yeah. <laughs> if, if there is anybody out there who wants to pay for building things from scratch, let us know in the comments.